I've been cooking since my senior year in college. Um, I actually went to college for criminal justice, graduated, was on my way to law school, and I changed my mind within the last two months of me graduating. Changed my mind. I wanted to do something that makes me happy, that was going to make me happy. And I feel as though the criminal justice system wasn't. So I completely feel like I'm knee deep in my passion. And I actually love it. My name is Aristide Williams. I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana, Holly Grove to be exact. And um, I'm a line chef here at Ray Rooster. I was brought here by my mentor, Chef Eris Johnson. She's a um, chop champion, and she's also good friends with um, executive chef Edward Bonfield. The environment at Red Roots is mainly culture, family oriented. Um, we all work together, we all push. It's a rush. It's a think on your feet. I have learned so much stuff about different types of textures, fish, uh, meats like because i didn't know like i'm from new orleans so it's, we mainly seafood we mainly crawfish catfish fried this fried that crawfish ball this you know what i'm saying so when i got here like it opened me open a wild variety of like ideas of what i can create as a private chef it's a environment that i wouldn't trade for anything in the world my senior year in college Started cooking in my uh my apartment complex, like little small stuff like pasta and stuff like that, like college kids, struggle meals. And I started inviting my friends to uh, come over and eat. So I came over and eat. And my good friend, my best friend, Fallon, Fallon was like, you need to watch this show named Chopped. And I was like, Chopped. It was on Netflix at the time. So started watching Chopped. So I was like, oh, yeah, this is what I want to do. Lo and behold, I work at Red Rooster. For Marcus Samuelson, crazy story. I want to do food, but how can I draw people to my food? When I when I when I have my first sale, I want everything to come from me. I wanted the food. I want the plates to have my name. I didn't want to drop. I didn't want to buy soft drinks because I don't drink soft drinks and they're not healthy for you. So I said, what's the easiest thing you can make besides? Like giving somebody water, like lemonade. It was crazy. I was like lemonade. So I took a sacrifice. I took my my like last thirty dollars, and I bought some mason jars from Walmart, few lemons, and like strawberries or something like that. And I made my first batch of lemonade. And it was my band director, um, um, Mr. Hamer, um, at the time. He tasted it and he was like, "I'm gonna make you a commercial." So I went on Instagram, he made a little commercial for me, him and my uh, crab brother, uh, Brian Simmons, and it went viral all over the campus. And ever since that, um, I became partners with my friend Abner Potain, he's my crab brother, I've been knowing him since my freshman year. We would stay up three o'clock in the morning making lemonade, and that turned into me selling about 350 jars every Southern University tailgate. People was like, well, I wonder what this food tastes like. And that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to do flavors that like you could probably never think of and everybody could relate to. Like um, you have the simple strawberry, but why not, you know, take it up a notch and do green apple lemonade or orange lemonade, something like that, or dragon fruit. And I take some of those 
recipes that, that I've made and combine them with each other. It's not just like flavored drink, it's actual real fruit in the beverage. So you can get that piece of freshness of a fruit. Um, I actually have um, a flavor named after um, late um, Leah Chase um, called Chase and Leah. It's a sweet strawberry lemonade with mint. And I want her inspiration to like live through me because like she made a way for you know young guys like me from New Orleans who just want to do honest things and like feed people. I like I, I tell my friends all the time like not my friends I just tell people all the time I'm like your grandma I just want to feed you you know I want to start um, a scholarship for HBCUs uh, which is historical black colleges mainly in the South and um, get some, shine some light on HBCU soon. I wanna have like natural lemonade stand sales like nationwide, you know, well, and kids could profit from it. I like to help my friends capture their passion. My apron comes off, I challenge my friends to find their passion. Every day I apply pressure to my friends and their dreams. To all my friends, probably when watch all that, keep going. We gonna make, we gonna make, we're going to make it as far as we could possibly go. God has the control of everything, so we'll be fine. How you doing? My name is Aristide Williams, and this is Cosby Strokes of the Nate.